Well, that's it, bugger it. I am giving up meat, well, for a month at least, anyway. Hey guys, it's your modern day Viking, Dion here, and I have decided to give up meat for a month for a few reasons, actually. First reason is it is the period of Lent coming up to Easter, and my wife, who uh, is Greek Orthodox, is fasting, and myself being a God-fearing man, thought I would support her and join in the exercise with her. And it's a good experience just to sort of go without something you might like on a daily basis. So, yeah, there we go. That's reason number one. Reason number two is it seems to be that there is a war on carb at the moment uh, and it's something that really does hurt me because the last war we've just sort of come out of was the war on fats um, and bloody hell you would have never heard of anyone going on ketosis or low carb, high fat, high protein diets when we were going on the war on uh, fats. Everything was diet this, fat free that. Uh, and did we see the number of fat people and obesity statistics go down? No, if anything, we saw them skyrocket and people's health uh, didn't get better. In fact, it got worse, thinking that fats were the enemy and good fats I'm talking here. And then so, and then I'm talking about the same with carbs as well good carbs. So rice, whole grains, potatoes, whether it's white potato, you know, sweet potato, um, yeah, oats, uh, things like that. And then also, the third reason is to show you that it is all about calories in versus calories out. So if you're going to maintain um, your BMR or your TDEE, so your base metabolic rate or your total daily energy expenditure, then you can still lose weight or stay the same. So here's the rules to my game. I'm going to keep my um, maintenance calories the same. So for me, it is like 26 to 2800 calories a day. Um, now that may seem low to a lot of you that know what you're doing in terms of calories and uh, for someone who stay, tr uh, trains in the gym a lot, but they're my calories and we're all different and I like to stay lean all year round um, because I practice what I preach, I like to stay lean, um, you know, as a personal trainer and a competitive athlete, you know. If you don't look the part 24-7, then to me, you're just uh, a bit of a pretender. But anyway, whatever, mate, that might be a bit harsh. That's just my viewpoint on it. And because I train calisthenics and a lot of bodyweight training, you know, it, is, it does make it harder to um, do a more of uh, the harder moves if you're carrying that extra weight. That's just how it is. Um, and then, so there we go. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep calories the same. I'm not going to eat any meats, I will be having eggs and uh, basically that's about it. I will have a weight protein concentrate supplement and essentially that's it. And in the last week, the way the Greek Orthodox do it is there will be nothing from meat or blood. So there goes eggs and there goes my weight protein. And that's just for a week, um, which is no problem. Yeah, that's it. All right. Thoughts on the matter. Um, I am interested to see where this goes in terms of how my energy will be. Um, I'm sort of thinking it's going to go up, um, but we will see. Um, yeah, and then that's it. I'm just wondering if, my, if I am going to struggle to maintain calories or um, if I'm going to be eating too many calories. I do think my carbs. Um, intake is going to go through the roof, which is uh, common sense, really. So I'm just wondering how that's going to go. And you know, after being fed all this bullshit, I am sort of thinking, like, 
am I going to be putting on like all this excess weight? Um, but you know, with all that common sense rule and prevail here, I'm guessing not. Um, and then yeah, how is it going to affect me? Like I reckon I will protein will take a bit of a beating here, um, just because sourcing it from plant based, like every sort of source that I'm going to get it from is going to have sort of carbs with it. Um, other than my protein supplement. So I think overall protein levels will go down to some sort of a very degree. So we'll see how that affects me after a month. And I did um, my weigh in uh, at the start of this. I think it was 87.6 kilograms, something like that. So we'll see whether my weight goes up and down. And I took a photo at the start of this to see my conditioning at the start, I'll take one each week, put them all together at the end, and then we can see uh, the overall journey. Mm. So, that is it, essentially. Um, yeah, let the good times roll, let the fun begin. <laughs>